Hi. Carly. I, I bought you and Jack an engagement gift. Congratulations. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Well, you were kind enough to invite me for the kids' sake. It was the least I could do. Hello, Jack. Carly? I'm glad you could make it. The place looks great. Thank you. Sage helped Katie with the decorations. How fun. It was. Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to steal you away. I want to introduce you to uh, Sarah Foster. She's new to the force. Huge fan of the show. Oh, yeah. I want to meet her. Um, don't you want to open my gift? I, I know it's not much. Uh, yeah, um, I, I hope you don't mind. Could you just put it in on the porch with the rest of them? We're, we're going to open them all later. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Hmm. I have got to give you credit for not giving up. I mean, the way you keep going after Jack when it's so obvious that he's over you. Don't you have a keg to tap somewhere? Oh, come on, Preferably Carly. far away come from on, me. Don't be mad at me. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep you from deluding yourself. The only thing I was deluded about was thinking I could rely on you. You wound me. I mean, really, you really wound me. I wish I could. Oh, hey, Carly. It's a beautiful dress. Hello, baby. Guess what? Hmm. I'm going to be the flower girl at Daddy's and Katie's wedding. Oh, my goodness. That's wonderful. Did Daddy ask you to do that? No, Katie did. Isn't that cool? Yes. Yes, it is. And you are going to be the most beautiful flower girl ever. Hello. You want this one, sorry. What is, what is all this? Thank God it's Paul's because we helped out with the party. Oh, that's very nice of him. I hope you thanked him. We did. Hey, um, do you want to come with us? We're going down to the pond. Oh, that's a very tempting offer. But no, I think I'll um, stay here with the grown-ups, huh? You're staying? Mm -hmm. I would not. Well, it's just that, um, you know, you're a little overdressed for a barbecue. I think she looks really pretty. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, sweetheart. Well, I didn't say that she didn't. It's just, um, this is Jack and Katie's engagement party, Mom. Mom, you look nice. You just look, um, sort of fancy. I I'm sorry, I just didn't realize that this is going to be quite so casual. But look at it this way. I'll be easy to spot in the crowd. Can we go now? Yeah, come on, let's go. See you later. Uh, uh, can I have your attention, please? Just really, really quick. Um, K Katie and I... First of all, we'd like to thank you all for coming here today. And it means a lot to have you all here sharing our happiness. Here, here. Yes. Yeah. And I want you all to know <laughs> that because of this incredible, beautiful woman standing right here beside me, I am the luckiest man alive. I'm going to embarrass you now. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> Before Katie came into my life, uh, my life, if, if you want to call it that, was uh, not, not good. I mean, I had three great kids and, and a great job, but that was, that was about it. I was kind of sleepwalking through the day. And what I needed, what I didn't even know I needed, was a friend. And those of you who know Katie know that that's what she does best. She listened, and she didn't judge, and she was there. No matter what. And it took a while for me to realize I'm a little <laughs> slow on the uptake. <laughs> but it took a while for me to realize that I had this really amazing person in my life. And one day I was looking at her and I thought, if I lose her, if I let her go, if I don't kiss her right then and there, then I'm the world's biggest idiot. So I did. I kissed her and that was that. I was sold. I was gone. One kiss and I was completely... Woken up. Stop it. You're making me cry. No, 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 no. No more crying for either one of us. Thank you. Thank you for taking a chance on a broken man. I don't think I can ever thank you enough. But I did get you this. Jack. No, go on. Open it. You're going to make me feel 
bad I didn't get you anything. You gave me everything. Beautiful. It's to remind you of all the time we have to look forward to spending together. I love it. I love you so much. Mm, I love you too. Here, come on, put it on. Okay. <laughs> no. No, what? It... it doesn't fit. Coming, guys. Appreciate okay. it. Hey, see you later. Well, Mr. Snyder, you sure know how to throw a party. Yeah, I don't know about that. The party favors could have been better. What are you talking about? The watch. I wish the band had fit. Oh, well, that is such a non-issue. These things are so easy to get fitted. <laughs> if Vienna were here, she would have called her jeweler friend and it would already be around my wrist. That doesn't make me feel any better. Well, how about this? I love it. And I love you. And I can't wait to be your wife. I'm gonna come put this back in the box so we can get it sized in the morning. All right. Mwah. Thank you. Jack? Mm. Hey. Kids all right? Mm. Yeah, they're looking forward to fried fish for breakfast. <laughs> and since they're spending the night here with yeah, you. I guess I get to clean them. <laughs> you know what? I'll have the boys do it. They'll find that fun. Uh, I want to talk to you. I, I kind of have my hands full right now, Carly. I can help. Uh, you know what, um, why don't you just give me a minute, let me throw this stuff in there and then I just, okay? Lovely party. I was just leaving. Without talking to Jack. That is why you're sticking around to the bitter end, isn't it? Katie, I really do not want to fight. Neither do I. That's why this has to stop. Now. Seriously, Carly. You didn't think I would notice the way you're dressed tonight? Didn't think I'd hear about the little stunt you pulled while I was away? I happen to like this dress. And given the circumstances, I wanted to feel good, okay? And as far as this stunt goes, I really don't have any idea what you're talking about. I know about, you love so... Jack. I know Jack knows you love him. But did you hear us toast? Carly, you know who he wants to be with. And I'm not saying this to hurt you. Really, I'm not. But you need to listen to me. For everyone involved. If you love Jack, I mean truly love him, which I believe you do, you need to love him. 